I cannot believe you're going to an event with me. Like, what is life? Oh and you're still taller than me, and I'm wearing heels. Are you kidding me? To be fair, I am wearing heels too. Ah, okay. no. Invited to a really fun little event here in Kansas City at Kendra Scott. I love Kendra Scott, it's a jewelry store. And they invite us to a fun Valentine's Day event and I'm bringing Audrey with me. I'm so excited that she can go to little influencer events with me now. Just like a little meet and greet hangout. They're, they're also doing a, a give back collab with Operation Breakthrough. It's a really good event for a really great cause. So anyway, I'm excited, but I'm quickly trying to make dinner real quick for us to grab and eat before we head out. And I still need to figure out what I'm gonna wear. And this event is in like 15 minutes. <laughs> um, but it's one of those things where you don't have to be there right on time. Alexa, pause. So I'm hoping to get everything done in time. I'm making an extremely gourmet dinner of tater tots. <laughs> so yep, 1000% organic and homemade from the freezer because that's how we're rolling today. And that is how we're rolling today. Okay, I need to figure out what. Okay, this is what I decided on in this little dress. And I like it. I wanted to do like Valentine's Day themed with a little pop of. I cannot believe you're going to an event with me. Like, what is Look the life? Tall, and you're still taller than me, and I'm wearing heels. Are you kidding me? To be fair, I am wearing heels too. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be a chaperone at Kylan's field trip today, and he's gonna give me the fourth grade rules of no cringe, according to Kylan. Rule number one, don't do cringe dancing. Wait, what's cringe? Like, in like, my dancing? Like, wherever, no, like, mom, like, why did you like, do this? <laughs> like, just some random, some random cringe dancing. Okay, so no random cringe dancing. Okay, do a little Number do two, don't start kissing me in the middle of the field trip. Oh, okay, I'm not allowed to give you any affection, okay? <laughs> what about hugs or high fives? No? Okay, I won't mm, do that. High fives high are fives fine. High fives only, no hugs. Number three. You could talk to my friends, it's fine. Oh, you were about to say I can't talk to your friends? Okay, but minimal conversation. <laughs> minimal words. Okay. Any things I can't say? Am I allowed to say bet? No, no. <laughs> You're too old for that. <laughs> okay. And that is okay. it. So, back from Kylan's field trip, I think that I followed all the rules correctly. I'm going to put you guys up here. Is this too high? Now you guys can see how short I actually am because I put the camera on one of my hanging floating shelves in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna have some soup real quick before I get some work done. I just love going on field trips. I love hearing what the kids have to say. I love hearing their stories. They're so sweet. They're such cuties. And I know teachers are like, oh, you don't see the real deal every day. Like as a, as a parent, you only see like the little cute parts on field trips. So I know, I get that. But they're adorable. And I think that Kyla was actually really happy that I was there. It was really cute. And at the end, he did want a hug and a kiss. I feel like 10 is the age where they're like in that in-between where they're like sort of getting into preteen, kind of like, I don't want mom, I'm embarrassed, but then they still really need like that love and that, you know, they're still babies. So anyway, it was fun. Hello. So I'm off to have coffee um, and just chat, content, all the things with Twin Sauce. Luke and Paul, they've been on the channel for years and years. If you've been here a while, you've met them and seen them. They are TikTokers, YouTubers. They're so famous. Like, anyway, <laughs> I am gonna have coffee with them, but I need to find a pair of shoes and I still haven't unpacked all my shoes. Almost there, you guys. When you're watching this, when you're seeing this, I probably will be done packing by then. But as of right now, the struggle is real. Outfit. Okay, tell us about it. Urban Outfitters. <gasps> Only 
20 bucks on sale. On sale. They were so out of season. These, yeah. these, these are oh, these EX. Are no, these are the um, Asics EX 89s. Oh, I got them for $35. I got two pair, but they're usually $120. I got them on like a, a warehouse them? sale at Rooted in Nashville. Ooh. Love them. So I got these pants just the other day. And then I got this PNCO. Love it. Very industrial brand, kind of motorcycle vibe. These are like deep dive, like kind of like random, like. But this remember those fans of uh, Disney. Uh, TikTok show. Oh, TikTok yes. Show. I represent. Converse old. I love it. I think these are. Abercrombie? I love Abercrombie. I want to see like two years. This is uh, my Bucky's bag. Paul loves his Bucky bag. Love his Bucky's bag. What is this, the jacket from? The jacket is, uh, it's a vintage, but it's, let's see, it's Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole. Oh, that was a gift from a friend, but it's vintage. So a cut shirt. A gift from a friend. Wow. Yeah. Friend Paul, yeah. Paul, uh, Paul got those in Japan. Japan. They're like, they're like, like, like comfy, real comfy, stretchy, like wow. sweat, like sweat suit pants. Example of how branding and marketing works because we just, these taco bars look delicious. Oh, I'm over here talking to my camera while I'm in the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> these look so good, and the packaging is what got us. So you're getting white chocolate. White chocolate. I think I'm gonna try. Mm, it's hard because I don't like to be adventurous. Because I always wondered be about these King Glow pineapples. I don't think I'm gonna buy one because they're like pricey, but like yeah. Jewel of the Jungle. I've heard they're like very sweet. Like they're they're not like a normal pineapple. They're like a specialty one. This place is awesome, dude. They have sushi. They have cute marshmallows. They have pink. You're they so, everything is so I love cute. how easily entertained you are. So, it is Friday, and I am on my way to my boyfriend's house. So I always feel silly saying boyfriend. My boyfriend, like. I'm a grown woman. I feel like that's, I don't know. I do say boyfriend, but sometimes I feel silly. But then partner, partner just feels so, part. I don't know. Partner boyfriend, my man's, my man. Anyway, he is playing a show tonight. So he's a musician and he is playing in a show tonight. And this is the wild and fun life I've been living, but I haven't been sharing and I haven't been telling any, you guys, like I haven't been vlogging it. But I spend a lot of Fridays and Saturday nights at really fun shows, seeing great bands and hearing him play. So anyway, and I think I need some caffeine. I might stop and grab like a, a coffee or something so that I can. <laughs> it's good quality. So we have a photo shoot today that I planned and was all gung-ho about and now I'm like I have no idea what we're doing but I do know that my face needs help so so I'm gonna do this ice bath facial that everyone all oh, it's all the rage these days so, but why didn't I use cold water that was dumb. Huh? So the benefits of an ice bath we'll google it but it's basically it's just like Actually, I don't know. I just noticed that my face always looks a lot better and more awake after I do this. So here we go. I'm gonna dunk my face in here and hold my breath. Also, make sure you put your lips in, you guys, because I did this one time and I feel like my lips froze off. So like, go like that if you ever try this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It feels like you're drowning, but it's totally worth it. Look at my face. It looks the same, but it feels different. Baby, you okay? It's like when you get like frozen, those. frozen like face. Look at the glow. Look at that. Oh, I have no makeup on. Look at her glow. <laughs> I, I just, 